Jack Wilshire, the man who at one stage was expected to become the next great English midfielder. And whilst Jack definitely did have some highs, there was certainly a lot of lows throughout his ongoing career. Unfortunately, injuries have really derailed any real hope of him becoming that next great English midfielder. And with a new generation of English football talent coming through, it looks like Jack's getting left behind. But what if we restarted the career of Jack Wilshere here in 2020? Could he go on and exceed the platforms that he laid for himself? Or would injuries derail his career once again? That's what we're here to find out today as we restart the career of Jack Wilshere. But lads, we are on the grind towards 400,000 subscribers and still over 90% of you watching the video right now are not subscribed to the channel. So if you are new around here, make sure you bloody scorpion kick that subscribe button down below. So as you can see, I have transferred Jack Wilshere back to Arsenal. He's 27 years of age, just like in real life, 77 overall. But it is now time to get him back to the start of his career. Let's make him young again. Hit that rewind button, baby. So as you guys can see, I have made Jack Wilshere a 16-year-old midfielder. 65 overall. He's gone down minus 12 potential here. And in terms of potential, I have given him an 84 potential. Nothing insane, but definitely something realistic to what was expected at this stage of his career. And just a quick little look at his attributes here, both physical, mental, and all that good stuff. Definitely a lot lower of a starting base. Even the technical ones, quite low compared to what he had. I mean, you look at the defensive ones and the finishing, a lot into the reds there. Oh dear. I didn't think Jack would be getting much game time here at Arsenal in the first season, but I did not expect it to be that little. Only three appearances for Jack Wilshere, but he has gone up plus three overall, up to a 68, which is pretty good for a 16 year old. But I'm starting to think that maybe we should move away from Arsenal nice and early and get a fresh start and get some game time. And I mean, just like real life, Arsenal have gone absolutely horrible this season. We have finished in eighth place. West Ham, who are the club that Jack Wilshere originally plays for before transferring over, have finished above us. And Tottenham, Tottenham, Tottenham Hotspur, they've won the Premier League. What is doing? So that is season number one done and dusted here. Jack Wilshere, 16 years of age. It was a massive L. I'm interested to see how things pan out in season two. Of course, dynamic player potential does not normally change until season number three. So it is no surprise to see that we are 68 overall with 84 potential at age 17. But this is going to be a big season for Jack. I am going to put him on the transfer list, however, and see if we can get a move away from the Emirates to really get the ball rolling for Jack. A very interesting offer here from the Seattle Sounders. Do we want to go across to the MLS and head to Seattle nice and early? You know what? I'm going to accept that for 1.3 mil. But unfortunately, that has fallen through not going to Seattle. Damn. Maybe we can follow the route that a lot of young English talent like Jaden Sancho and the like have done, and that is to be a young Englishman headed to the Bundesliga. We're going to accept a 1.45 million pound offer from Hanover. We're also going to accept this offer here from FC Copenhagen. Wouldn't mind going to Denmark. This would actually be a much more realistic option. West Bromwich Albion, 1.35 mil are we headed to the Hawthorns? Well, we're not heading to Copenhagen, that's for sure. There it is, lads. The deal has gone through. Jack Wilshere headed down to the championship, headed up to the Midlands, signing with West Bromwich Albion for £1.35 million. So that means that Mr. Restart needs to head over there as well. Sorry, Slavisha Jokanovic, but you are out of a job, mate. We have accepted the offer to take over West Brom. So here is our first look at Jack Wilshere in West Brom colors. Hopefully, it can be a successful season here to really get his career back on track. I mean, it's hard to say that his career is off track when he's only 17, but definitely do not want a repeat of season one. Let's go simulate. That is much better, lads. 29 appearances for Jack Wilshere. 
and he actually managed to get eight goals to his name which is very very good to see up to a 71 overall as well so another season of plus three growth but it looks like we're headed back up to the premier league next season because we have finished in second position with West Brom. So one season away from the Premier League, but we are much better than when we were at Arsenal. Let's crack on with season three and see if Jack Wilshere can continue this decent growth. Quite surprisingly, dynamic player potential has not changed anything for us. We still are sitting here with an 84 overall, which is fine by me. Maybe the fact that we had such a bad season one, but such a good season two kind of balanced things out and counteracted it, but we're sitting here, season three, back in the Prem. Very interested to see how things go. Growth-wise, fantastic. Appearances-wise, fantastic. Stats-wise, nothing crazy to write home about. But to be fair, just a quick little glance at the rest of the side, and it seems like everybody had a poor season. But we are now up to a 75 overall at the age of 18 with Jack Wilshire. 39 appearances, six goals, four assists. That is decent interested to see how the team went though yep the team went absolutely terrible we are headed straight back down to the championship with west brom which hopefully means we're gonna have a season of domination season four and dynamic player potential has finally kicked in lads we are up to an 89 potential with jack wilshire 75 overall back in the championship I want to have a great season, get West Brom promoted, and just absolutely run rampant in this league. We have received a few enticing offers, especially from Feyenoord. I would, I'd be pretty open going Feyenoord in the future, but I want to have another season here minimum at West Brom and see if we can, yeah, just go crazy in the championship. That is exactly what has happened, lads. Growth-wise, slows down just a little bit. Our worst season of growth but our best season on the park, 38 appearances, 17 goals and seven assists for West Brom. That is absolutely golden, up to a 77 overall. Our stats starting to come along quite nicely as well. I mean, look at the finishing as well. Think about how low that was in season one. That is by far been our biggest grow. We went up, what, eight potential points or eight points in our finishing this season. But we are back up to the Premier League next season, going up through the playoffs. Still not certain though, whether I'm gonna stay at West Brom next season. Hey man, that's an honor. We've won the player of the competition with West Brom. So there we go, season four done and dusted. Jack Wilshere's career is starting to go up, up, up. You love to see it. Oh my God, lads. Not only is our stocks going up and our overall with Jack Wilshere going up, our potential is up to a 97 potential. We are considered one of the biggest wonder kids in the world right now. Very similar to his potential in real life. Like a lot of people had high hopes for him, but I don't think they were 97 potential high. So we're going to strike while the iron is hot. We're going to add Jack Wilshere to the transfer list and see if we can get an enticing move away from West Brom. Brighton are the first club that have come in for us here, but honestly, I want to go to a slightly bigger club. I don't want to go to a huge club, but slightly bigger than Brighton, please. This could be pretty nice. <laughs> nice have come in for us here, 24.4 mil. Could be a league or an adventure. Nah. Cancel that idea out of your minds. We're not going to Nice. Ajax is a tempting one, but I honestly feel like it is way too cliche. I'm going to reject that one. This could be cool though. Hoffenheim, Bundesliga, 22.7 mil. That could be really cool. Let's accept that. Also going to accept this offer here from Athletic Bilbao. I don't think Jack Wilshere fits into the Basque policy that Bilbao have. But you know what? I don't care. I'll accept it still. And there it is, lads. We are headed to La Liga, signing with Athletic Bilbao for 23.8 million pounds. And if Jack Wilshere signs for Bilbao, that means Mr. Restart is off to Spain as well. So there it is, Jack Wilshere back in red colors, red and white. I've also changed up his boots to the red New Balances. Fits the kit sponsor, fits the colors, pleasing on the eye. Very interested to see how the first season in La Liga goes. And I mean, look at that team. We've actually got some decent players around us. I didn't think 
we'd have this much competition. Honestly, we are one of the worst players in this team. I did not expect to have such a good supporting cast. Amiri, Sanchez, Yusuf Paulson, Dominic Barati, Edem Militao, Trincao. This is a good team. Okay, yep, this was a bad, bad idea. I am getting out of Bilbao ASAP. Four appearances, one goal. This is a huge nosedive compared to the other seasons with West Brom. I stuffed up. Oh, I, won. I got myself in too deep. 81 overall still. We had a good season of growth, but no game time. The club actually did all right, though, to be fair. We finished in sixth position in La Liga, meaning I could stay and have Europa League football next season. All right, lads, season six here. 21 years of age, 81 overall, and our potential has remained. It has stayed at a 97, which is okay but we need to make sure we get the ball rolling again in this season. Quite frustratingly, the only offer we got for Jack Wilshere in this transfer window was from Manchester City. And if I can barely start at Bilbao, I'm almost certain that I won't be able to start at Manchester City. So we're gonna have to grind it out here in this season with Bilbao, unless we can get a January transfer move. But the fact that we've gone up to an 82 overall now gives me a little bit of hope that we get more game time. It's slightly more game time, but still not enough for our ambitions. 16 appearances, two goals, but the positive is the growth is going insane. 85 overall at the age of 21. We have gone up four overall points. I honestly don't know or think that Jack Wilshere has ever been higher than 85 overall in a FIFA before. So all things considered, the growth has been fantastic, but I just don't want crazy good growth. I want crazy good results on the field. I want to leave a legacy for Jack Wilshere. It is no surprise to see that our dynamic player potential has taken a slight nosedive. It's still a bloody great dynamic player potential up to a 91, but considering we're at 97 last season for the past two seasons, going down six overall is not ideal. Once again, I'm gonna add Jack Wilshere to the transfer list and hopefully get him a move away. Oh, I have to, don't I? I surely have to accept this. Arsenal want us back. This just feels right. Can we fulfill the legacy? I mean, we started there. He was a wonder kid at Arsenal. Can we go back to the Emirates? as a star player and help deliver success, I'll have to accept this. There it is, lads. We are headed back to England, back to where it all began. Jack Wilshere headed back to Arsenal for 46.5 mil. And that means Mr. Restart is as well. So there we go. Jack Wilshere back in Arsenal colors. Can't say I know, I'm too certain about the number 44 though, but I'm hopeful that the second coming of Wilshire can be successful. I'm gonna give Jack Wilshire the number eight jersey here at Arsenal. Number 44 just doesn't cut it. This squad though has changed significantly compared to when we were here last time. The only player that was in the starting 11 when we left was Leno. This team is completely different. Oh, dear lads. Deary, deary me. The injury curse has struck again for Jack Wilshere. We missed out on a lot of football this season because of goddamn injury. Maybe there's just a curse with Wilshere and Arsenal. Maybe we just need to dip. 24 appearances, three goals. That is unbelievably poor, but we didn't get much of an opportunity to show ourselves. I mean, we were just absolutely carried by this bloke. Dejan Kulazewski, the Swedish winger, 60 appearances and 34 goals for him. My lord. Lord? My word. My lord? My word? I don't know. We almost got some silverware with Arsenal, however, losing in the semi-finals of the Europa League. But we did quite poorly in the Premier League, finishing fifth. So a lot on my mind after this season. We're going to have to crack on. Do we stay at Arsenal? Or do we move away? I, I don't, I honestly don't know. The dynamic player potential has remained at a 91. So realistically, I mean, if we have a belter of a season, we could probably hit our potential this season, but we're gonna have to wait and see. The form has been bored. The player performance has been bad. 
I don't know, lads. I don't know. I've decided to bring in some defensive reinforcements here at Arsenal. I want to see if we can get some success on the field. So I've signed Edem Militao for 126.1 million pounds. It's too much, but we need help. There we go. That is a much better season. I mean, it's still not great compared to other seasons. It's not the greatest in the world, but we have had 38 appearances, 15 goals and eight assists. That is a stat line I will definitely take. And most importantly, Jack Wilshere, at the age of 23, is now 90 overall. How good is that? 90 overall for Jack Wilshere. The stats are looking absolutely phenomenal as well. Our finishing, our long shots, both up to 99. No wonder we're scoring so many goals. But unfortunately, we regressed in the Europa League. I thought bringing in Militao was gonna help us go further. At the age of 24, Jack Wilshere is 90 overall, and as you can see by the status, he is one of the world's best. Unfortunately, our potential has just flatlined at a 91, which leaves me a little bit concerned. I want that growth. I want us to get up to a 9. I mean, we could get to a 99 if we perform admirably, but a little bit frustratingly has stayed at a 91. We have received a boatload of transfer offers, however, from some massive clubs too. Real Madrid, Napoli, and Manchester United, all for big money, but I've decided to reject them. I really want to win at least one piece of silverware here with Arsenal. Holy crap! What happened to the 91 potential? Jack Wilshere has hit 94, putting him up there as probably the best player in the game at the moment. 50 appearances, 23 goals, 10 assists. That is absolutely insane. We have killed it here. Dude, these stats are absolutely cranked. I want to use us in game because we would be uncontrollable. No wonder we're killing it. And I mean, you look at the rest of the squad though, we carried this team. Bolligan is the only closer player and he got 11 goals. That is saying something. What is actually doing with the rest of our team? I'm leaving next season. We are the best, one of the best players in the world and we're playing for the ninth place team in the Premier League. Come on, man. Are you serious? We got a limit. We finished dead last in a Europa League group that had Genk, Zagreb and Rapid VN. What? Yeah, I'm getting out of the Emirates, lads. Jack Wilshere has done all he could. Let's look for a move away and let's look for some success. The dynamic player potential has stayed at a 94, which I find quite interesting. I was hoping we'd get it up to the 99 so that we could have a runway and a finish line in targets, but we've stayed at a 94 potential. Let's just focus on getting out of the club. So there it is. Jack Wilshere valued at 118 million pounds. We've added into the transfer list. Let's see what comes in. Juventus. Interesting, the old lady, Juventus have come in here, 162 million pounds, but honestly, I don't want to head to Serie A. If, yeah, no, I'm gonna reject that actually. RB Leipzig have come in as well for Jack Wilshere, but I'm definitely rejecting that one. A lot of big, but not huge clubs coming in. Leon, 162.4 mil, again, rejected. Oh, this could ruffle a few feathers. Jack Wilshere. Chelsea, 162.4 million pounds. Do we head to a fellow London club? Do we go from North London to West London? I'm going to accept that. Oh, dear. And there it is, lads. Oh, Jack Wilshere is a Chelsea player. And if Jack Wilshere is a Chelsea player, that means Mr. Restart is the Chelsea manager. So there is our first look at Jack Wilshere in Chelsea colors, being handed the number seven jersey. 94 overall, age 25, one of the world's best players, and I would say the world's best midfielder. Let's see if it's a successful season for Jack. Also, just thought I'd show you the side we are working with, a very, very strong side. We'd probably do with a little bit of work in the defense, but still a good, good team. String cow to a 91, Hudson Adoy still around. Oh my God. We have absolutely killed it here in our first season with Chelsea. 54 appearances, 21 goals, 10 assists. We have just had a great season, but quite interestingly, after the mad growth of last season, we have stayed at a 94 overall. So 
no growth at all. But the thing that is providing me with a little bit of hope that this isn't the end of our growth is that the attributes are still going up somewhat. Of course, of course, we move from Arsenal to Chelsea and Arsenal finish above us in the league, of course. And we only made it to the round of 16 of the Champions League. Maybe I stuffed up. Season number 11, age 26. Jack Wilshere has stayed at that 94 potential, which is quite worryingly. I do not want us to plateau. I want us to push on. Realistically, we've got two or three years of potential growth still left into us. So this is going to be a crucial season for us. I've also decided to go ahead and sign some defensive reinforcements and really improve the squad here. Matthias Delete, Albin Lafont, and Max Ahrens all joining the team here. And I mean, with those additions, our team looks significantly stronger. Everything looks incredible there. Point one, Jack Wilshere's grown. We have gone up to a 95 overall, which is bloody brilliant. But on... The field, 60 appearances, 39 goals, and 19 assists. Jack Wilshere has the scoring record of some of the, if not better than some of the world's best strikers. Jack Wilshere, I salute you, my friend. Oh, we finished one point away from the Premier League title, finishing second with Chelsea. But we finally get some silverware to our name, winning the FA Cup. And we finish as semi-finalists in the Europa League. Overall, though, all things considered, that was a brilliant season with Jack Wilshere. And that gives me a lot of hope moving into season 12. I just want to see what our potential is now. Let's go, lads. Let's go. The dynamic player potential has gone up, up, up to, the, up to a 97 now. Oh, we're one of the world's best players. Jack Wilshere's career has been well and truly saved. Now it's time for us to push on and hopefully become the best player of all time. We have reached the 97 potential. We are in striking distance of the 99. Next season is going to probably be our final season to achieve it. But that is another golden season from Jackie Wilshere. 54 appearances, 26 goals, 14 assists, up to a 97 overall. Jack Wilshere, the world's best player, the world's best midfielder, and potentially the greatest midfielder of all time at this point. Oh, get in the bin! Oh, come on! No, what? How did Arsenal get so good? They've won the Premier League and the Champions League. What? Whereas we lost to the bloody round of 16. This is the season to do it, lads. From all of these simulations I've done in the past, 28 has always been the last year of growth, if you have growth at all. But very, very hopeful we can hit that 99 because the dynamic player potential has gone up. To 99 with Jack Wilshire. Come on, Jack, please undo it. I'm also gonna give him some massive support here. Kylian Mbappe is gonna join Chelsea. 95 overall. Come on, Kylian. Oh, we haven't done it. We have got an incredible season again to our name. 63 appearances, 38 goals, 18 assists. He's absolutely destroyed it again, Jack Wilshire, but the potential, the overall, have stayed at the 97. But we get some silverware to our name. We have finally won a Premier League title. Chelsea, a Premier League title. Good stuff, Jack. We also won the Carabao Cup with Chelsea. And we did the treble. It is a Champions League to Jack Wilshere's name, finally. Lads, that seems like the perfect point to retire Jack Wilshere and end this simulation. Lads, I've got to say it. I think this might be one of the most successful re-simulations we have ever done. We have restarted, and I would say saved the career of Jack Wilshere. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like on the video. Let me know who should we do this with next. Subscribe down below if you're new around here. I'll see you very soon for the next video. However, it has been Jared HD here. I am out. Peace.